and there's a bull elk just right there. I don't know if you can see him. So I'm here hiking the old Gardner Road. It's just the road that goes between uh, Mammoth Hot Springs and Gardner down in Montana. And I really don't know what I'm going to photograph tonight. Uh, but I've done this hike several times here in the winter. But uh, this time I'm really going out with my gear for sunset. Normally I would go look for wildlife because there's been a lot of elk up here. And uh, some deer and occasionally bison. See, so yeah, I just got my lens out. going to go try and find a composition. Because I have been working here in Yellowstone for the winter. And uh, winter in Yellowstone is simply amazing. There's just not that many people as there were in the summer. And there's just nice uh, scenery with all the snow. And you get to see a lot more animals too because they're a lot more active. Because it's not so hot during the day. And there's a lot less people to scare them off. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of meander around and look for a composition. We might get a nice sunset. We might not. I really don't know. The clouds have been breaking a little bit. And I kind of want to photograph towards those mountains over there because they look pretty dramatic. But uh, yeah, I guess we'll see. I got a couple spots in mind where I might try and set up at. But yeah, I'm just going to keep going and I'll see what I can find. So it is very cold today. When I left it was 15 degrees and I'm a few hundred feet higher than where I'm staying. And uh, also, it's a little bit windy up here, so it's a little colder. And there's a bull elk just right there. I don't know if you can see him. So I was just walking around here talking. I don't even think he notices me. So I'm gonna sneak around here and maybe get an image of him. He's got kind of a small rack, but still pretty cool. I could have almost walked right into him. So he's walking right across here in this open meadow, so it's gonna be some nice images. So he's not the biggest bull I've ever seen, but he's still pretty spectacular. So I'm just shooting at f4, uh, 1 1250th of a second. Oh yeah, these images are looking good. He kind of passed down over the hill over there. Um, and of course, I didn't have my uh, telephoto lens, but I do have my 24 to 120, which I think I might have been able to get some decent shots of him. Kind of got him walking across here with the mountains in the background. Yeah, it turns out all my images were super underexposed though, um, because it is a tough scene here, because the mountains in the background were admitting so much light, but the elk in the foreground was so dark. It kind of threw off my exposure meter and also the exposure meter can't quite be trusted in the snow like this because again you want the snow really bright and white and sometimes it'll kind of uh, overcompensate for the white snow so it'll have you do a whole bunch of underexposed images. Well seeing that elk was an awesome unexpected encounter. I'll tell you what though taking the gloves off for just a few minutes in this cold weather really gets your hands frozen. But uh, that's about all that's cold on me it was just my hands when I took off my gloves. Otherwise, I'm doing kind of fine. So 
So I found a spot where I'm going to do a self-portrait really quick. I'm going to set my camera up kind of where I'm standing. And then right behind me, kind of right on that ridge, I'm going to stand. And then I'll have the mountains in the background on uh, both sides there. And I am wearing some dark colors and a dark backpack, which will kind of look good because it'll stand out within all the bright colored snow. So I am going to try and position myself kind of right uh, with this hill on my back there. So with my dark colors, I'll kind of stand out a bit more. Well, I'm going to get my tripod set up and my camera set up and start taking some images because we are starting to get some light on the mountains back there. So I have this shot all lined up here. If you can see as I zoom out a little bit, I'm kind of cutting out these uh, bushes to the left and to the right because I just want it to be kind of as white as possible. And then I'm going to run out and stand kind of to the left here. Pretty simple composition. I'm just kind of going with me being the main subject and then just in this really nice background here. Then of course I'm going to set the self timer to 10 seconds to give me enough time to run out there. The number of shots, I'm going to do five separate shots. And uh, interval between shots, I'm going to do three seconds, the longest, just so I have time to recompose. And then I'm actually going to focus about maybe a quarter of the way through the scene. I kind of want to focus on this ridge where about I'm going to be standing. Because uh, I am shooting at 1 20th of a second, F11, ISO 64. I'm not really uh, worried about sharpness throughout the whole scene. I'm more worried about the sharpness just right where I'll be standing there. So it is freezing cold up here and really windy. So I'm gonna kind of hurry and take these shots and then kind of get to cover for a little bit and still wait around before sunset. So yeah, and I've got the backpack on just kind of for a little more dramatic effect because it's kind of looking like I'm an explorer in this land, which I mean, really I kind of am because I've been hiking up through here with my camera gear to get these sort of pictures. Up in the freezing uh, teens cold, that's all right. So now I'm gonna hit myself timer and I'm gonna run in the scene and take some images. I'm actually going to change my composition a little bit. Well, I'm keeping the composition the same, but I'm going to change my body position. So I'm going to kind of go up on the right side and I'm going to walk over the crest of the hill. So I'm going to be walking towards the camera to try and get more of like an action shot. So I stopped again to take some photographs. Um, there was a little bit of light, but it fled really quick, so I really didn't get any drama in the sky tonight for sunset. But uh, there are a couple interesting scenes which I have here. Um, so just a pretty simple composition what I've got going on. I've just got this uh, kind of bush taking up most of the scene, and there's a rock slightly behind the bush. Then we have Bunsen Peak in the background. Um, so yeah, just pretty simple, nice, uh, cool tones with uh, no light whatsoever, really. Uh, no direct sunlight, I mean. So it's kind of a flat image, but the sky is a little bright, so the sky is a little whiter than the foreground. So it just adds for a nice little kind of monochrome uh, winter image. So that's all for today's video. 
Um, it turned out to be a really good day for photography. I uh, saw a nice bull elk, got some self-portraits, and then finished off with some landscape images. It's a bit unfortunate the light didn't happen like I wanted it to, but it still turned out to be a pretty nice day. And <laughs> now it's time for me to go back, get some hot chocolate, take a nice hot shower, and then grab some dinner and relax. So hopefully I can feel my uh, fingers in my face again. Well, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you later.